speaks of the advanced archery skills developed in Byzantium. The old city is close. Lara, we're on the mountain above the glacier. Can you see Trinity? Yes, they're beginning their operation. I'm entering the old city now. Listen, Sophia, don't attack them too soon. We'll give it some time. I'll contact you again soon. Madman continues on. I, I do not know what drives him. We pass through frozen mountains at the edge of the world as people are dying. Every day I pass graves or bodies left along the faint trail. I have grown thin and hard, but I am close now. My, my horse is dead. The mare that had been with me since the campaigns against the Bulgars. I butchered her and carried the meat on my back. But I am so close. I can hear them singing just over the ridge, a joyous sound on the wind. Our prophet will be dead within the week. And I will return to the Order of Trinity, triumphant. Just one more day, oh, and I will be upon him.
I leave these notes for whoever should follow in my footsteps. My wounds are worse than I believed. They will not heal. Tonight I will make one last attempt to escape this frozen tomb, but I doubt I have the strength. The divine source is here, at the peak of the tallest tower but it is beyond my reach. With the source at his disposal, the Prophet's deathless ones are unstoppable, an army of wraiths and devils that can never die, a mockery of all God's creation. They are no longer human, and they will break any army that stands in their way. With every death and rebirth, they learn. They adapt. Should Trinity someday find a way to seize it for ourselves, I fear that we will do no better. Perhaps it would be best if it were to remain lost forever. Biblica! 